Irregular heartbeats called atrial fibrillation can happen to anyone at any time. It's one of the issues with the heart that doesn't have strict guidelines. But if left untreated, many people end up with a stroke, dementia, or heart disease. In our continued partnership with Intermountain Medical Center, find out some of the risk factors and why doctors say you can prevent it. I didn't think that at 43 I would, I would have or a heart condition. Lonnie Rasmussen has atrial fibrillation, the most common heart arrhythmia or unregulated heart rhythm took its toll on him. And it causes a lot of symptoms, uh, dizziness, short, shortness of breath, um, fatigue. Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute Director of Heart Rhythm Services, Dr. John Day, says atrial fibrillation goes hand in hand with obesity. But even after lifestyle changes, Rasmussen needed surgery. They actually go into the into the heart with uh, with scopes and 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 so forth uh, intravenously, and they isolate the area that's supposedly causing the. Uh, the misfire in the heart um, that causes it to, to beat irregularly and they and they cauterize it. With a catheter ablation procedure what we're trying to do is that we carefully map out three-dimensionally where in the heart these abnormal electrical signals are coming from and then cauterize those areas thereby forcing the heart to hold normal rhythm. While the obese are most at risk, other people are not exempt, including physically fit athletes and even teenagers. So the key is getting treated early. As there is more scarring of the upper chamber of the heart, then it becomes more difficult to treat. And ignoring an irregular heartbeat increases your risk of stroke five times, doubles your risk of heart failure, and doubles the chance you'll develop dementia or Alzheimer's. That's all according to research done at the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. But you can reverse the condition. This is something that, if it can be caught early, most cases can be cured. And it's often a combination of treatment, whether it be medications, procedure or even lifestyle changes. I've actually uh, lost 80 pounds um, on top of the ablation and I think it's probably more a combination of those two things than just the than just the procedure. Now coming up tonight at 6 o'clock we continue our heart health week with Intermountain Medical Center. Learn how air pollution causes heart problems. That's tonight at 6.